What's going on, everybody? I'm Mr. Ron Classic, and welcome back to The Ron Report. Today, we'll be unboxing Sony's latest mirrorless beast, the A1. <sighs> Damn. It's a 50.1 megapixel flagship full-frame camera, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on one. Get it? One? A1? No? Moving on. It shoots 8K, 30 frames per second, 400 megabits per second, 10-bit 420 video, 30 frames per second, photo burst, with 120 calculations per second, auto exposure, and focus points with no blackout. A7S III, I'm sorry, but you gotta hold my bear on this one. And by the way, you can show your support by hitting the like button, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you. All right, let's get into it. Ooh. Yeah, usual stuff that I will probably never read. We got the strap, USB type A to USB C, charging cable, data transfer, whichever you choose. Charging cable for the charging, for the charger. Cable management. But I'm personally gonna put a cage on it. That's pretty much gonna handle all of that. But if you like it, you can pop this on it. Put less strain on your cables. Charger for battery. Sony's new Type Z batteries, same one that the A7S III uses, so you can interchange between the two or just get extra batteries, whichever you choose. And here we go. There we go. The Sony A1 is 737 grams. The grip sits perfectly in your hands, solid buttons with a five point navigational joystick. The record button is on the back of the camera, which is great for people like me who constantly got the record and shutter button mixed up, even though they're totally different sizes in totally different places. That's just me. Like the A7S III, it has two memory card slots. It accepts CF Express Type A and UHS 1 and 2 SD memory cards. On the top left here, we have a dial to adjust the focus and drive modes. It has a full-size HDMI type A, a mic jack, a headphone jack, USB type C 3.2 with power delivery support, micro USB, a PC sync terminal, and gigabit ethernet connection. Just like the A7S III, the screen supports touch which allows you to scroll through your menus and zoom in on your photos, and it's very responsive. Now, this may make you happy or not, but this camera doesn't have a flip out screen. It has a tilt screen, and I know a lot of people prefer the flip out screen. It's great when you're vlogging, but in some cases, the tilt screen has its benefits, which makes it easier to see what's going on. In the end, it's all user preference. This camera is a huge leap forward in hybrid shooting technology, and Sony has just been dominating the mirrorless game. If it's in your budget, you should definitely consider it. Thank you for watching this unboxing and first impression of the Sony Alpha A1, AKA the hybrid goat. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
and make sure that you're subscribed with your notifications turned on to see my full setup and review of this camera and for me to give it a round report card. Peace.